Dave, I understand you've been involved in the pest business for quite a while now, and perhaps you'd like to give us a bit of a rundown on how you got to be sitting here today and yeah. background on your career. Yeah, sure. I'd be, um, yeah, 28 years. Started off working with the Banks Monster Pest Destruction Board, and um, as the amalgamation of the different boards took place, we branched out into working different areas and have um, had various projects throughout New Zealand that we've, we've been working on now and uh, getting more involved in their biodiversity work, uh, protection of bird species in the Brada River systems and um, uh, yeah, it, it's very interesting work and uh, yeah. it goes really well. So that protection of biodiversity, that's predator trapping in areas where there's um, sensitive bird populations, is it? That's correct, yes, yeah. Um, you know, cats and ferrets, stoats, um, just anything that's uh, that, that's going to predate on these bird species. Hedgehogs too, to a degree now, are becoming more and more seen as a, as a, as a threat to, um, like, the rye bills and things like that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And goats, you're, you're involved in a goat program on Banks Peninsula, are you? Yes, they've been, um, the Peninsula program's been running for quite a few years. We've been involved probably the last five or six years more um, because the Department of Conservation were carrying out the work in their reserves and they couldn't work on the private farmland. And uh, we got involved because our rapport with the, with the local farm owners and uh, we could uh, work on their land in conjunction with Doc doing their own right. reserve work. So is that attempting to eradicate goats off the whole peninsula, is it? It is indeed. We would like to see if we could... Uh, the, the plan is for eradication. So, and I, I believe it's quite achievable. The numbers have, have, have dropped dramatically since we've been involved and, and been able to get the the boundaries to the dock estate cleared. And, um, you know, we've probably taken out 3,500 goats in the last four or five years since we've been doing that work. Yeah. Mm. And, and how's that program being funded? It's jointly funded. There's um, input from Environment Canterbury and Department of Conservation and the Banks Provincial Conservation Trust have also put a lot of money have had funding to put into right. it. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's great. Mm. Um, yeah, it's so a, it's so a, you, you, you can see the end of the goat, wild goats on Banks Provincial We can, yes. Yeah. Um, I, I think uh, probably in you know, three or four years. We, we're doing a lot of monitoring now. The, the main control is finished, has mm -hmm. been completed, so we're monitoring blocks, but um, picking up stragglers, and, and there's new escapes happening. There are blocks that people are still farming goats on, which get out, unfortunately. And, you know, we have problems with people releasing some animals. Uh, is, is that an issue up there? Is that sort of hindering your program at all? Or? It has. You'd be surprised the number of goats that we've picked up that are wearing collars. Right. Escape from yeah. backyards and things like that, and, and they go feral pretty quick, of course. Yeah. Um, and all the all the goats on the peninsula have originated from the days when goats worth a lot of money, you know, there's big money in, right. in goat fibre and and to a degree goat meat. Mm. And since the since the collapse of that market, the uh, yeah, they're just not worth fencing in because the mm. fences for them are mm. you know pretty expensive to upkeep yeah. and just no money in them. And are you getting mm -hmm. any resistance from the public about? You know, sort of a few people think goats are quite cute. And, um, is, is there any resistance, or is it quite good public support for the program? Uh, the support's been absolutely excellent. Uh, the the um, people have seen the the blocks where we worked early on, the regeneration of the bush. We've, we've been able to take photos and show people the, the change of the of the bush, the native bush, from from having goats on it to taking the goats out. Um, and some of these reserves up on the Port Hills, which belong to the Christchurch City Council, who also are doing their own control work. Um, yeah, just dramatic changes in the bush. Right. Absolutely fantastic. Can't believe how quick it's gone back to you know, good good stands of native. Yeah. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah, yes. it is. Yeah. Mm, good. Mm. yeah. Mm. It's good, good to get a few wins for a chance. Yeah, dead right, yeah.